In most topics, you have to get pretty advanced before you start addressing the philosophically interesting things. But in chemistry, it just starts right from the get-go with what's arguably the most philosophically interesting part of the whole topic, and that's the atom. And the idea of an atom is philosophers long ago, and you could look it up on the, the, the different philosophers who first philosophized about it. They said, hey, you know, if I started off with, I don't know, if I started off with an apple, if I started off with an apple, and I just kept cutting the apple. Let me draw a nice looking apple just so it doesn't look just like a heart. Or, there you go. Have a nice looking apple. And you just kept cutting it, smaller and smaller pieces. So eventually, you get a piece so small, so tiny, that you can't cut it anymore. And I'm sure some of these philosophers went out there with a knife and tried to do it. And they just felt that, oh, if I could just get my knife a little bit sharper, I could cut it again and again. So it was a completely philosophical construct, which frankly, in a lot of ways, isn't too different to how. Uh, to how the atom is today. It's really just a a, a mental abstraction for, that allows us to describe a lot of observations we see in the universe. But anyway, these philosophers said, well, at some point, we think that there's going to be some little point part of, a, of an apple that they won't be able to divide anymore. And they call that an atom. It doesn't have to just be for an apple. They said this is true for any substance or any element that you encounter in the universe. And so the word atom is really Greek for Uncuttable, uncuttable or indivisible, uncuttable. Now we know that it actually is cuttable. And even though it is not a trivial thing, it's, it's not the, the smallest form of matter we know. We now know that the, an atom is made up of other more fundamental particles. And let me, let me write them. So we have the, we have the neutron. And I'll draw in a second of how they all fit together and kind of the structure of an atom.